for Swing Tuesdays here at Bricks in Belleville, New Jersey. What's going on? <laughs> I'm representing my California team that's losing. I should have a Golden State Warriors um, right now. Sorry, Cavaliers. All right, anyway. Um, anyway, so uh, Super Swing Tuesdays. So what we did for this class, uh, we did a little bit of play with open-ended uh, material. Um, patterns with like hammer lock um, and then getting into some interesting positions, extending things a little bit um, and then continuing with uh, some other fun stuff. So, <laughs> so we have hammer lock. I'm going to stay with her. I'm going to pop her out and I'm going to segment and like, like add on to that extension. Okay. Um, my recommendation is that because we extend it, because this is an add on, you can either treat that as the extension of the previous pattern and or the beginning of the next pattern. In either case, uh, the only thing I don't recommend is after you add the extension, not to force an extra anchor there. Okay, go right into it. Okay, so then we have a shirt push into a rock and go. Okay, we're gonna pop her and then spring her out. Um, now, we want that last part staccato so that this part we can actually even add a little bit of a hold and a pause before we kind of like work our way out of it. Now, whether you choose to like groove or whatever, the only thing I recommend here in this scenario is not to just like lead out and then just like reset right away. Try to be okay in this uncomfortable position to kind of like play with it, whether it's playing with handhold, like playing with like all these like, you know, little things that you can kind of toy with. Don't be in such a rush to get out and fix it, okay? So we end up in this position. Okay, I'm just switching sides so you all, you all can see. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of like throw her behind myself a little bit. All it really is is an extra turn with a curl. Okay, all I'm gonna do though is add an extra turn for myself. So we're here in this position. I'm gonna start the prep and rotate her body, right? But I'm just gonna carry my frame, throw my back to her, and then I'm gonna catch her. Now the key is to kind of stay with her so she doesn't get too far away. It's very common that leaders wanna step this way and then they wonder why she's like running away, okay? So I wanna keep myself kind of in front of her, right? So that way I can catch her and then send her back out. All right, so that was the pattern. I'll see you guys next week. Move. Girls, what y'all trying to do?